Fragmentation is the 20th qualities of the opposites. Hi everybody, it's Dr. Helen Thomas. I'm a chiropractor and also an Ayurvedic specialist. Fragmentation is the concept that you have the five elements, fire. Everybody knows what fire is. If you live in Northern California or Australia, you certainly know what fire is. Space. You know, when you feel all crowded and you can't get away and you were in the coronavirus and you're stuck in your apartment, you don't have space. That's another element. Fire, space, water. Earth and air. So the five elements divide, okay? And they, because they attract each other, fire and water, okay? Earth and water, space and air, like that. And when they change, space and air become qualities. And out of space and air, becomes all the things that can be produced from two separate elements coming together and sparking and bringing their electricity and their molecules together and making something. So when space and air come together, according to the science of Ayurveda, the nervous systems, the quality of the nervous systems, movement, nerve supply, okay? The brain has a thought, there's electricity, it runs down the vagus nerve, it supplies the uh, celiac plexus, that sends nerves over to the stomach, the stomach st starts moving, hydrochloric acid starts secreting. So that is an example of how space and air come together and affect the body. Oil, okay? Uh, pitta is fire and water. How, what's, what's fire and water? Fire and water makes oily. Fire and water makes hydrochloric acid. Fire and water is pitta, the digestive system. Earth and water is kapha, the immune system, the moisture of the body, the mud of the body. What's the mud of the body? The mud of the body is the muscles. It's the bones. If you put too much water in mud, it, it gets very, very liquidy. If there's no mud and it, and it bakes in the sun, it literally makes a brick. So that's where the, all the qualities come together and separate to make actual elemental systems in the body. And if we follow the Ayurvedic scientific path and we apply it to our body like our body is a map, we can read it so easily. And that is the power of these simple principles of self-healing and self-care in the Ayurvedic method. Make sure that you like and you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you can get all my notifications.